Tell me about some um, historical textiles. So this piece is very old, probably from the late 18th century. And as you may notice, there are about three different shades, pink, red, and brownish violet. But what you must know is that all these shades are made together in the same dye bath from mother root. The important point is the preparation of the fixing agents we call mordants. There are different kinds of mordants. It depends on the fiber you use. Actually, I will present you some mordants for cotton. Now these five mordants are not ready made. We have to add some gum in order to fix it better on the fabric. So I will use that kind of gum, which is gua gum. We'll use it in order to thicken a little bit the mordants, um, and then it must be a kind of syrup uh, for very nice patterns with brushes or even blocks, block printing. And tell us about indigo a little bit more. Well, indigo is a huge subject. It's very, very attractive. You don't need mordant. I will show you. First step, maybe, would be interesting to show you how to extract first the color from the leaf and then use a kind of blue extract in order to go on with dyeing process. Just put the leaves in a beaker. Add some hot water and just do a kind of infusion. So as all kinds of infusion, we will have to wait about 15 minutes in order to extract the sap from the leaves. And then after 15 minutes, we'll just keep the juice for the subsequent treatment. Now, in our workshop, we had produced 10 different samples of chromatic designs with very few dyes and two mordants, of course, including the indigo dye. But tell us about the comparison between all the examples of prints and what we did in our workshop. Well, about this very traditional use of madder, including reds, mixed colors, and uh, purple together, including white in it, we redid that kind of piece, but instead of using lead acetate for the main modern, which is the white one, we just used very ecological things as ordinary vinegar, homemade lime, and alum. For this one, which was the very polluting way of doing this effect, we didn't use this chromium salt together with lead that they use for the yellow and green. We chose quite a long process, doing first the matter, then dipping again with the yellow dye stuff, and then by overlapping with indigo, getting about the same kind of shade than they did, and same, about the same kind of green. So this is not so polluting. And remember, we did use the mordant until the last drop. We never throw any mordant. Whatever they are not really toxic or polluting, we prefer to reuse it until the last drop, which is very different than the traditional one. That's remarkable, Michelle. So we can work with what we have 
in our home even, and using very few mordants, and we can pursue beautiful range of colors, polychromatic effects, and have great fun. Thank you so much. Enjoy. A bientôt. Goodbye.